What, Alex? Out now. Your cat is chasing me. Out the other motherfucker. What? Hold on, Hapa. <laughs> Without getting too fucking sidetracked on the school thing, it basically comes down to this. I'm trying to get the fuck home to work. Pay attention to me. There needs to be some changes around here. Things have kind of gone to shit. things is this, since I will have, hopefully, pretty soon, more time home, you know, like daily, at least for an hour or two, in several days in the fucking week, Christopher, we're going to change how you guys do shit. You know what one of the biggest changes are going to be? Homework. Well, besides homework. I'm not going to force you to fucking do your homework, motherfucker. That's between you and your fucking mom. If you want to be stupid, stay stupid. I really don't care. But one thing that is going to happen is you guys are going to learn how to be fucking accountable for shit. That means you too, motherfucker. You know what that means? What? Well, the way things have worked around here, you guys make a little fucking shopping list fucking mom to run her bitch ass out to fix her food, right? Mm -hmm. Do you guys go with her very often? No. Well, I do more than Alex does. Okay? That's going to change. You know why? Because much like I do with your mom, I give her ass fucking money to buy y'all's food. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, mom's going to use that money to buy me and her food. Guess what you little fuckers are gonna do? Use our money to buy your own. No, you're not buying your. You're not using your own money to buy your food. I'll give you money for food, but you guys are gonna do your own planning and shopping. Oh. You guys don't understand what budgets mean. Do we have? So does that mean that we have to go to go to the store by ourselves? Nope. No. You're I'll going still with your take you to the store. Y'all get to make your list and decide what the fuck you're going to buy and all that shit. But, you know, when you got X amount of dollars to work with, well, fuck. I got $50 to go shopping for the next three fucking days. I'm going to buy $48 fucking potato chips. How do you think <laughs> that's going to work out? It's not going to work out. They're going to be hungry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. I think it is time that they learn budgeting. You have X amount of money and you get X amount of shit for it. You guys are going to have to figure out what you want to do. Do I spend more on this and have less of that? Or do I stretch my dollar out to have more shit to eat? Or find a happy fucking balance? And you guys have been making less long enough and you guys have been making food long enough. You can figure your shit out. Right? Mm -hmm. So, this isn't you guys got to use your allowance to buy fucking food type of thing. No, no, no. I'm not fucking with your guys' allowance or whatever the fuck like that. You guys still have and keep your allowances or what the fuck ever. I'm not being dicky. Right? Mm -hmm. But I am tired of you guys sending mom out to fetch shit and you don't think or don't fucking care and, you know, you don't know what the value of shit is, whatever. I mean... Alex just replaced his fucking tablet. And I told you about him making that fucking choice the other day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think about that for a second, Alex. I don't know if they explained it to you, but do you know what yeah. sort of choice you made on that tablet? 
I decided to break it like I did with my white No, tablet. I'm not no. talking about the breaking it. The choice on getting a new tablet. I had to I make... never actually explained it to him because I didn't figure I could do it in a way he'd understand. So here's the thing. Daddy tries to let you guys make your own choices, good or bad, right? Okay, so here's the thing, Alex. I gave you the option, and I've tried to guide you the whole way of either having me help you with the tablet or getting your own fucking tablet to replace what you messed up and having me buy you other things like a digital camera to take pictures with, right? Yeah. What do you think the actual better choice would have been for you? To get a digital camera? Why? So I can record videos without breaking nothing. Right. So that would have been the better choice, right? But you wanted your tablet. That's all you wanted to focus on, so you had to have that tablet. So you just chose to have me pay for part of your tablet. And I was still fair about it. I paid for half of your shit, right? Yeah. So you spent half your fucking allowance instead of all of it to get a new fucking tablet. The thing is, Alex, I try to reward you guys when you make good choices. And I don't punish you when you make bad choices, but you do got to deal with the consequences of them. Yep. Yeah. So, here's the thing. By choosing to have me chip in on your fucking tablet and spend half of what you fucking broke as your Christmas present, not only do you not have a digital camera now, but if you would have picked the fucking camera, you would have probably had a camera worth at least probably 100 to $200, plus your tablet, plus I would have chipped in on your fucking tablet too. So you end up with more shit by making a good choice. So it looks like the stuff on that list is not going to come until a few weeks time. Yeah, whatever's on the list, that's going to wait for a bit. Word. Chris still needs to get his shit and... The money situation's about to change. We don't know when, but right now we can't be spending a whole lot of money. we got to be careful with the money for the time being because I am switching jobs. I called the factory that I'm looking to get hired on this week, the other day. Mm -hmm. And the woman there said that one position was already filled. She had my application on desk because they're expecting another one to be open this upcoming week. Now, what that means is when I went to interview last week and talked to the guy, mm -hmm. he was telling me that as it stood, Another department that paid nineteen fifty an hour to work in a warehouse has had an opening for like five weeks. He has an opening getting ready to come the fuck up. He's got a guy that's on the bench of getting shit in, basically. And he really wanted me to work for him. Okay? His department starts out at $21 a fucking hour. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what I think has happened is... The guy I did the interview with had the other guy get somebody the fuck else for him so he could bring me the fuck in. So since the other position got filled, he's opening his position up for me to come in and work with him at $21 an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But it takes a week or two to get things situated, be able to bring me the fuck in because of the situation. So that's why this upcoming week, most likely, when that's going to happen. Okay? That doesn't mean I'm going to start work this upcoming week. It means I'd go the fuck in, get things situated, maybe do some paperwork. It'd probably be the following week before I started. It could be a week or two, depending on when they want to start me, pay periods, all that shit, right? So it could be the end of fucking February before I even really got paid from this new job if I started, like, in a week. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's going to make things a little tighter. But it does mean that I'll be working... You know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, have Wednesday off, work Thursday, have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Mm -hmm. Right? Then it'll be, you know, it's three on, one off, one on, three off. And then it switches around. And so basically one week I would work three days. One work, uh, week I'd work four days. Back and forth. Three days, four days. Three days, four That's days. That's not bad. So, I mean, I'm always going to have three to four days home every week. Right? Mm -hmm. Still have full time. Still be making about what I do on a short run at work. I mean, every other weekend, 
I have a three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Right? Which means at least every other fucking week, if we felt the inclination and the car wasn't acting up, we had a different vehicle, we'd go up to Sildar City every other fucking week. We could go spend the night there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever the fuck we wanted to do. Right? So, in the short term, I got a couple hundred bucks, basically, to sit on after I get through some shit off the fucking interweb or whatever the fuck. And I got one more check coming from a two turn, so another 900 plus dollar fucking check coming in, so almost a thousand bucks coming in here and uh, not this upcoming Friday, but next Friday. That's if I don't do any more fucking work with this double S truck driving bullshit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do more. want to, but he may. He hasn't decided. So, I mean, we got more than enough to get by for the fucking month, but we got money to blow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how things sit there. That is the current financial situation. Um, but the point is, Alex, if you would have made better choices, you would have had a better outcome. I tried to guide you. You kind of fucking stuck with your shit, and... So, you weren't punished for making the not good choice, but you didn't get rewarded for making the good choice either. Yep? Yeah. When I had my first computer, it was like, I didn't even know how you got me a computer despite how I treat my other electronics. Because, Alexander, here's the thing. Is Daddy good or bad? Good. Am I mean or nice? Nice. Okay. And part of that means that I do what? I try to give you guys chances. Yeah. You guys fuck shit up. You mess up. You make mistakes. Everybody fucking does. I don't care. You own them. You correct them. You move the fuck on. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember... So this. when you fuck shit up... I try to give you a chance down the road to fix it. You know, like what? You remember those computers that we built back in the day? Yeah. Those, uh, that old gateway computer yes. that I had. I remember the other computers you guys used to have and use. I remember you didn't treat it well. I remember it was a while before you had another computer, wasn't it? I'm not about punishing you guys and holding on to shit you do wrong. I'm about you guys learning from what you do wrong to redo better in the future. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, you got a replacement tablet when you took your fucking second tablet out there and dropped that motherfucker and broke it a few weeks ago, remember? Yeah. That's how you lost your last motherfucking tablet, right? Yeah. But still, it's you get a replacement, right? Yeah. But what did you learn from dropping that last tablet? Not only do you have to wait to get a replacement until I get around to it, but more importantly, Alex, how long do you have to wait before you get a phone now? I have to wait one and a half years because of how I treat my other electronics. See, you started the responsibility clock over. That is the punishment for fucking your shit up. You couldn't last a year and a half with the motherfuckers, and they got to start all over at a year and a half before you can ever get a fucking phone. Right? Yeah. Now, who here thinks that's not fair? You think it's not fair? I guess. Or do you think it's fair? I guess it's fair because of the fact of how I treat my other electrons and they just... What about you, Chris? you think it's fair or unfair? I think it's very fair. Did I say he's not going to ever get a fucking phone? No, you only said it was going to be one and a half years, which is reasonable. Yeah. How much did that fucking phone cost there, Chris? Uh, this cost about... 250 bucks. Yeah, 